Hey, all good editors out there. My name is Chris. I am the creator of PostWatch, a nice little app that gives you an alert on your smartphone when your encodes or exports are finished so you can move on to the next task. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is give you a quick start guide how to set this up with the online service called Pushover. Now, that's the app that you download to your phone, and it will actually receive the alerts that PostWatch is sending out. So... To start off with, uh, you will be introduced to this screen here when you first open up PostWatch. And there's just kind of a list of things to do to get this all set up. Uh, the first thing is to go to the Pushover website. Of course, I just have to say that I didn't create this. This is a service that I'm tying into. Anyway, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to create a new account. And I'm going to... Do that now. Yes, I'm a human. I am. All right. I have now set up a new account here. And as you can see, the first thing I'm going to be sent is you're going to get one of these. You're going to get a verify your email address, blah, 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 da, da, da. There we go. So we have. I've now verified my email address and the first thing you're going to see is this user key now this user key is unique to you and what we're going to do is we're going to add this to the user keys here so under the default here i'm going to add that user key and i'm also going to change it to my name so what you can do is you can actually set up multiple user keys under the same account so that um, you can have you, your assistant editor, other people who might be wanting alerts, and you can set up basically a whole list of people, and you can choose on the fly which person is going to receive the alerts. You also can set up a group, and a delivery group allows you to have everybody get an alert. So you can have a group... You can select an individual person, and that's who's going to get the alerts. All right, so the next thing, now that we are basically connected to Pushover, is the way I have this set up is that we need to create an app token for each of the apps that we are going to watch or get an alert for. And I'm going to switch over to my smartphone. Now, this is what it looks like on the app. Basically, each app is kind of like its own little channel. So you can add an icon so that as you're flipping through your little list of uh, alerts, you can see at a quick glance which app is giving you an alert. You can also just use a single token. The downside to that is that you will only see one icon. It's not as visually pleasing, but it's a little easier setup, especially if you just want to play around and test post-watch and you don't you know, want to go through the hassle of doing this. And it's really not that big of a deal to set this up. I'll show you how. Now, let's start making some app tokens. So we go down here, we go to your applications, create application token. And it's actually pretty easy. And give it a name. It doesn't matter what the name is. It's just here for the reference to the website. You also find in the installer that I created, I've got these pushover icons. So I've already created the icons for you. Here's Finder. You can, you, you can just drag it right on. Oh, come on. Aren't you, you're not going to let me do it this time, are you? You're not going to let me do it. Let me do it earlier. Finder. Check the box. Create application. So I have now just created an app token. Now we're going to put this under Finder here. So that's our first app token. Now all we have to do is follow this same procedure and make app tokens for each one of these. So let's do a little fast motion and make some app tokens.
All right, so you can see that I have now created app tokens for each one of my apps. So the next step we're gonna do is we're going to upload some custom sounds that's, that are going to be uploaded to your phone. So let's do, we can see the custom sounds here. We're gonna go here, we're gonna call one success. Of course, we have to give it a description. I don't know why, but we're gonna do that anyway. Here's success. Of course, they're found in the same installer folder. Upload sound. All right, so we've got one sound. Let's do our fail sound. Fail. Fail. All right, so now the next step is to set up the application on the phone. Let's switch over to the phone and see how that works. All right, so when you first open Pushover on your device, you're gonna to need to put in your email address. This will be the same address that you set up on Pushover. You can put in a name for your device. All right, I am now connected to Pushover. So the first thing we can do that we're gonna to wanna to do is let's go to settings and let's bring in those two sounds that we uploaded to Pushover. Da, 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 da. Choose default sound, and that is going to be our success alert. Success, very top. And then choose the default high priority sound. Is going to be our fail sound. All right, and basically everything else is as it should be. So the last thing we need to do is validate all these keys and tokens to make sure that everything got copied and pasted correctly. So let's see how this goes. Sometimes it takes a few minutes here. All right, success. We're now connected and everything is working with the app on your phone. So let's just send a little test here and see what happens. Yay, I see a test message. So now everything is set up with Pushover and PostWatch. I hope you find this app useful. Check out my other app, PostSync, which will help you deal with preferences and cache files and setting up your machine at the beginning of the day. And thank you and happy editing. <laughs>